folks to another episode of Alan Wake 2. Last time we left off, we actually found Alan Wake on the beach. Uh, freaking after we got defeated, um, uh, Nightingale, we uh f looked around the freaking uh the park area. We found some clues about like I don't know some dolls and stuff like that. And then we actually yeah we just went to the car. It took me like literally thirty minutes just to walk around cause and we found a freaking wolf. <laughs> And we had to defeat because now wolves are part of the freaking enemy thing. So here we are. Let's continue on with the story. We're going to chapter three, I believe, or chapter four. Uh, this game is scary, dude. This game is like no joke. Like tackling a new thing. Uh, what? We're back here, dude. Nah. Back. Freaking wolf. Oh, boy. Oh my god, dude, no. Are you kidding me, dude? Really? Ah, we defeated the wolf in the last video. Why'd they pull me back over here? Ah, uh, great. Where's the wolfie? Oh my god, dude! Yeah, you don't say. Did we kill the wolf? Dude, heal up, come on. Get the hell out of here. We're going back to the car. I'm not freaking like last time I searched stuff, but now like dude, we just saw it already. Get the hell out of here. Am I going the right way? I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. Yeah, okay, we are. All right, let's go. Mm. 
Now, towards the car. Let's go. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Okay. It's freaking creepy, dude. Hey, it's Alan Wake. Hey, it's the freaking he's wearing the freaking flannel from the American the American Nightmare DLC. That's cool. <laughs> ah. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> Scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Oh shit. I remember. I remember. What the hell is going on now? Oh, 
Late night. Initiation one. Fuck. Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Fucking live action too? What the fuck? <laughs> That's cool. Is that freaking live action? Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing you look so much like freaking, uh, what do you call it? Freaking... Are you, okay there, you play the Joker in the freaking Suicide Squad. Jared Leto. There you go. Kinda. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. He didn't know he read that, right? The book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A a an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, 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 a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i uh, sad to say i uh, i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double oh my god well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very <laughs> meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of new york through the story he is writing it's kind of meta yeah i believe so projection did i get that right yeah that's exactly right go on i should be taking notes here this is great stuff notes to that other alan wake in that room writing this yep speak are we all in your story yep Basically, since the beginning. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once we see this. Hey, we're back in the game. Hello? Hello? What the frick is going on, dude? Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? Yeah. I never wrote a book called Initiation. 
This felt like a bad dream. This could make a good <laughs> story. Ah, oh, you don't say, dude. You don't say. Fuck. Let me bring my mic a little bit closer to me. There you go. That's better. I'm sorry for that, folks. Hey! Hey! I think I've been locked in! I think I've been locked in! Anybody! Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Are you freaking kidding me? Great. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Okay. Where the hell is this code thing? Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six six five neighbor of the beast, really? <laughs> That's cool. Wait. Six six five. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We found something. Did that work? Ha! Cool. We did it. Yo, this is a creepy freaking hallway. Green of uh, freak. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. What the fuck, dude? What the hell is going on? Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Turn to writing, really? Okay. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. What the fuck is going on with this game, dude? This is like psychological shit, dude. This room is my boat. Writing is my lifeline. Oh, we're back here again? Oh, dude, this is so freaking insane. This is like butterfly effect. I know what I'm naming this episode already, man. Fucking butterfly effect. Hell yeah. Oh, 
Let's do this! Can you get out? Here we go again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? So, sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Isn't that not like freaking Saga's freaking uh, like partner, exactly Alex Casey? Imagine Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, so uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Oh, no. Come on. Don't do this again. Fuck. Get the hell out of here, man. I'm not doing this again. Uh. No? Okay. What's the code? Five six five. Is it called five six five now? Yeah, okay. Great. We're doing this crap again.
Okay. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. What the fuck is going on in this game, dude? What? It's Marty! It's a janitor! <laughs> That's Marty! That's freaking from the control! <laughs> oh my god, janitor from control! Dude, it's a freaking <laughs> a janitor from control, dude! I think this is him, like Marty or something? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can no freaking way. <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry, have you met? Yes? Have we met? <laughs> I mean, you were in the freaking uh, the bureau. I, yes, you were like the key of everything. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember? Ah, T, there you go. The janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. And a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you, Ati. Okay. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. This is awesome, dude. Freaking meta, dude. It's so meta from control. If you haven't played control, dude, you play it first in this shit. Oh. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Oh, that's freaking creepy, dude. Dude, Ati from freaking control, the janitor, the freaking open like every single door. So he's a key to this game. He's like very important to the story. Oh my god, dude. Remember, Ati's like the key for everything, dude. What the hell? Damn. 
the frick is going on here, dude? An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh. What the frick is this place? I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Ah, that's a glitch. Cool. I am lost right now. Oh, okay. I see. Dude, I gotta keep playing this section right here because this is amazing. to find another way out okay that's not it okay that worked talk show <laughs> in a part okay so with that folks i'm just gonna cut it out there thank you for watching stay frosty mental and dude like i said control the federal bureau of control and alan wing too they're connected they're definitely connected like dude that's amazing <laughs> oh that was great thank you for watching i'm gonna cut it out here because it's already too late i'm going to bed
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, folks.